What's up? My name is Ari Grooves. I am the choreographer and the ensemble member in Burning Man the Musical. I have been performing and dancing in this world before I even was in this world. My mother is a dance teacher, well, was a dance teacher, and you know, she was kicking and I was kicking. And so, you know, I kicked out and became <laughs> a dancer. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> Technical review. You're going back to your front. Technical review is up to you. Three, four, five, six. I was born with a foot deformity that misshapen my foot. So therefore, as a kid, I couldn't play. And then as I got older, I could barely stand because I didn't have the bones. So I had to have a major surgery when I was 10 and have to learn how to do everything all over again, walk, move, and it took some time. That surgery wasn't necessarily for me to dance. It was just for me to just get back moving. I'm, I'm not supposed to be dancing, let alone playing sports, and look at me now. Bringing a new show to life is wonderful. It's a little bit scary sometimes because we're doing it in a, in a very different way. I'll have stuff planned, but most of the times I have to like create something the night before. Like I gotta hear it a couple of times. I gotta freestyle and be like, oh, this feels good. And then I can like set it. Well, as a choreographer, my process of creating this world, I love to freestyle in my kitchen, in my room, or in any, just any way, shape, form, or fashion, just to see how I feel naturally from those movements and those feelings. How do I put that into a, a picture? How does it visually look? I smoke till I'm crunk, dance on the floor, ha ha. And then from there, you're gonna put your hands in number two, and all you're just doing is going, takes, too. I love feels and grooves because I think that's natural. I know for myself I may not be the most technical dancer because of certain disabilities where I, I can't point my feet. I don't have the luxury of having the facility that a lot of technical dancers and you know company dancers are you know sort of blessed with. Don't have that. Hey, I got girls. Ha, ha. And it teaches me how to just learn how to move and learn what I can do. So I'm always trying to make sure that my choreography not only is an extension of me, but also it is an extension of the person that is performing. Dance is, is a human thing and that it, it, it should represent everybody on every part of the spectrum. I'm so excited to see what it looks like because I have no clue. Oh, this is dope. Oh, cool. We got a sound system. Oh, work. What are, what are your first impressions? You like it? I love it. I, I can see now I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, you could do a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's, yeah, we got tons of opportunities. Any creations that you guys come up with as far as like, add ladders, we could do things like hanging from beams, we can do, there, there's lots of opportunities. So I'm, I'm so excited to have you on the team for, for, to synergize through that. Likewise, thank you for having me. I'm really excited. I know we, we still got some ways to go, but I'm really excited. I think it's, it's great. I think we have some dope possibilities to create from this, absolutely. And now knowing what we have, more freedom to make this world a Burning Man in a, in a barn house. <laughs> Good luck to us all, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I'm excited. Ooh, let's see. A word. I think the best thing to do is just to walk through everything now that we have spacing and stuff and also Sam was saying that if we need to change certain things we have the opportunity to do so so I was just like all right let's see if we can mark through some of these numbers we don't have to do it full out because obviously no it's cold and my body said no <laughs> so 
I'm going to listen to my body. Walking, walking into the performance space, our setup that we have there, and we're still setting up, but it's giving us an idea of what the world is. Ha. So when the, when the camera turns, I think what's going to happen. Now we know where we're moving to, how this works, how this works, and also how can we change the angles because it's not necessarily a proscenium where you're just, here's the front, here's the audience, and you're just playing straight to there. We can have a 360 view. So trying to think about that in mind is also a thing. Woo. Stay center wherever you turn, the camera can get them in the back. I think we're gonna have a multiple shots where we get you from the shoulder looking and then get you from the front. Once the camera goes back to Hazel, we'll all figure out a way to sort of make this line here. So what have you heard about Burning Man? What have you heard about Burning Man? Ha! And then you all have. Ha! 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 When we get the camera and figure out how to shift it, we'll know how to move around, like behind the camera and all that. Woo! How y'all do this? How y'all do this? myself what would Steve do Stephen Jobs do Stephen Jobs do 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 the choreography is coming along together especially now that we're in the space now that we are all together we're like oh okay this makes sense we can we can play a little bit more and have more fun especially when they 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 become their characters and now everybody's in their outfits makeup all of that stuff so then you know they might be really into their characters so that's the great thing so there are pros and cons to being an ensemble member and a choreographer pros is you, your brain can see in both perspectives of what it feels like to give the energy on stage and then to see what the energy looks like on the camera the cons are I can't be at every place at once, so even when I'm in the spacing, if something goes off or wrong, I, I won't be able to tell because I'm in the space. I'm really trying to rely on like muscle memory and making sure that I know what I'm doing. I'm very grateful to be a part of this production. Personally, for me, it's just a reminder that I can do anything that I set my mind to. For the dance break for us, this is all good. This is this. Can we do, can we ride? Stuff like this is a, is a great reminder of why we are artists and why we are the dope people that we are because we're able to pull some crazy stuff out of nothing. And it reminds you how innovative you can be under just a little bit of pressure or under changes, environmental changes, circumstantial changes that are beyond your control. How do you keep it going? How do you keep it moving? And I think that is the definition of being an artist and an innovator. So if it's one thing that I've learned from this process is how to innovate um, no matter what, you know, we can do it.